hi fellow enthusiasts welcome to my channel let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up this is the continuation of our one transistor stable frequency transmitter video series in this episode we've modified the transmitter to be a video transmitter and what we did was just added this capacitor you see here 470 microfarads and then we're using the wiper of this variable resistor transistor remains the same and we added one signal diode 1N4148 it's a clamping diode it helps to clamp the negative signal from the video feed so it doesn't exceed certain value in the extended channel we'll do a video to simulate this the function of that signal diode so the signal is now fed from the variable resistor to modulate the amplitude of the transmitter so this is an am amplitude modulation system now this variable uh, this condenser microphone and that capacitor are still in place but they're not being used so we've disconnected the input because we don't want to have fm modulation and amplitude modulation on the same transistor we need a special skill to do that and we will talk about that in a separate video the video signal is fed from this green and yellow wire through the capacitor to the wiper of the variable resistor so with that variable resistor we can modulate the the oscillator now we also have um an led this green led uh, is a power indicator we use the, a resistor to drop the voltage going there and then so there's a switch you can flip on and off right here and so that led functions just as a power indicator so you know when power is there in the circuit yeah basically we didn't do much changes um, then the video feed comes from this contraption there's a camera there and then the, it goes through this wire and then into this transmitter and then through the yellow wire and then which is our functioning as our antenna we added a little bit of um, regular telescopic antenna and then that will radiate the signal to our TV and right there you can see us on the TV now the next thing we're going to do is to try to um, vary the variable resistor to modulate the signal see what under modulation or over modulation could do and then also I <laughs> then also we're going to try to vary the variable inductor to see the effect on the frequency so I'm going to turn it then I'll use the camera to focus on the turning so you can see what I'm doing and how I'm manipulating it as you can see so I'm on the variable resistor so I'm modulating this the video feed and as it's going down you can see that it started scrolling so the vertical scroll so I have to go back so when you build this and you see your video is, is scrolling either vertically uh, vertically down or vertically up you just try to adjust that variable resistor to get it stable and so when you over modulate it goes whitish when you under modulate it goes dark as you can see here so I'm gonna try to also vary the variable inductor so as I turn it the frequency is changing now it goes almost whitish so I have to go back and then I've lost the, the station or the channel so I have to go backwards gradually until I get to a stable point I think you shouldn't be using metals for this tuning because it affects the inductance you should use a plastic screwdriver so that we're gonna consider this uh, in the future or maybe build a, a contraption where we can just have a knob to vary that and the knob will, will be all plastic we'll consider doing a 3d print printing for that so so as i'm varying it now i'm just get trying to get it back to where it was working uh not quite 
I want to get the colors back. Yes, okay. So I have the colors back. I mean, for a one transistor TV transmitter, as you can see, I mean, it's 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 good for the money. It's good for the the complexity that you put in, right? So that's it. I'm gonna try to play a video from the camera because I have um, my favorite video that I always play from the camera. I'm gonna play it at some point just to see um, what it does, right? If it does transmit it the same quality as this direct video feed from, you know, from the camera. And then subsequently, I'm going to show you the circuit diagram towards the end. Before I sign out, I'll show you the circuit diagram. So if you want to rep re reproduce this, go ahead and build it and make your modifications and let us know. So let's play that video. So this is my favorite video. Um, yeah, you can see it's playing the video uh, as good as it was relaying my uh, image. Probably a little bit better than relaying the, the, the live image. Now we're just going to vary the modulation a little bit to see the impact and see if, if there's maybe you can improve it a little bit or not. Mm. Yeah, it's getting a little bit dark, so on the modulation right there. And as you try to over modulate a little bit, you can see on the corners of the TV, especially, especially on the left hand side, you see it started getting white a little bit. Now I've lost it and got it back. All right, so it works fairly well. If I also try to vary the inductor, I'll have the same effect. It will have the same effect as before. Um, so as you vary, you you get to a point where you lose the signal. Remember, a TV transmit a TV receiver has a bandwidth of I think about six megahertz. So that gives you room to to uh, move around a little bit, right? So, but that bandwidth includes the audio and the video. So we're gonna do another video to talk about the extended, uh, in our extended tutorial to talk about the theories. All right, so here is the circuit diagram. You can see the modification we made, just the uh, 1N4148, and then also the power indicator, LED power indicator. Right. thanks for sticking around to the end that'll be it from us today please if you have not subscribed do so right now and don't forget to like and share this video until we come your way again with more contents stay enthused